What's good, what's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with some news. The homie Adrian Broner is back in there once again speaking about Floyd Mayweather. Um, I guess he was just he just had an um, a interview with um, Roundaway Podcast. Shout out to them. Um, where they was they was asking him about Floyd Mayweather. So without further ado, let, let me let you listen to the clip. But why you feel like Floyd don't want you to have that kind of money? That's the part that kind of puzzled me. Like, even when I see Javante Davis leaving, I'm like, damn. This I nigga mean, look like he really, like, he don't want to see somebody with no money. Or he don't really, like, I don't know. Like, he don't like to see a nigga doing two. I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. I can't say, I can't say personally or hurt this nigga say that. That I don't want to see him with this type of money. The ball. But it's like in his actions, the in his the way he be moving, and then out the blue, you would, you would hear him do an interview about me and scream, "A B is about broke." Like nigga, I don't even speak to you. I don't talk bad about you. Every time I talk to you, I talk good about you. Mm-hmm. You you part of the reason I became who I am when I first seen you, nigga. All I did was ever look up to you. Mm-hmm. The only thing I ever did bad to you, and I don't think that's really bad, was fuck some hoes that was with you. Yeah, that ain't come on, man. No, that ain't even come on, now. <laughs> That's it. All I ever did yeah. to that nigga was fuck some hoes. But why you feel like now? I mean, listen, bro. It's always two sides to every story. I spoke on this before, but I mean, again, like I kind of, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of wish, um, I guess I kind of wish that people would stop asking about it because it's like the same story over and over. I kind of, you know, I just want AB to just move on past that. I mean, again, like I said before, Floyd owes this man nothing, and we don't know the whole story. But I will say Adrian Broner has been loyal to Floyd for a very, very long time, even when Floyd was disloyal to him. Now, I do remember when 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 Floyd was said that, you know, AB stands for about broke. However, in this situation, I, I guess, I don't know if AB remembers tonight but he was drunk it was after some awards show i can't remember if it was the hip-hop awards but it was like in 2016 and like ab was he was drunk you can tell he was drunk but he was like fuck tmt fuck he was like ftmt ftmt you know what i'm saying like um and, and like uh, he, but he was like uh, he always say he was like I, I, I f with Floyd I only f with Floyd but f TMT and then that's when Floyd came back and was like bro you saying f my 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 stable and stuff that's pretty much saying f me and all that type of stuff so then that's when they had that whole bicker and went back and forth or whatever but again bro I mean listen A B had I mean one thing I do know I mean I don't know the, the full story because it could be two sides like a like I always say, Floyd could just be tired of the antics that AB Adrian Broner has has, has put on. Um, it, it does seem like I do remember when AB was going through that whole one of his many rants on social media talking about how he wanted to kill himself, and Floyd Mayweather had flew him out to uh, Vegas, you know, to help you know get him back in the gym and stuff like that. So I, I mean, Floyd didn't completely turn his back on him for what it seems on the outside, but what it does seem like though, it's possibly like listen, Floyd could be like, hey, listen, bro, I tried to give you the ropes, I tried to give you the game um you didn't want to take my advice so i'm done with you i remember when floyd mayweather and sean i mean when uh adrian Brown and sean porter were, were about to fight um uh, and they had a weigh in and and you know ab didn't shake his hand and floyd had made a tweet he was like i apologize for the childishness that's around me type stuff so maybe floyd is just fed up with the antics of adrian Brown. however i do know for a fact though ab has always looked up and been loyal to floyd mayweather he's like even when like i said I'll never forget when, when, when after Floyd got done talking bad, I mean ridiculous about Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner, uh, they, they, that recently after that, like on the Breakfast Club, they came out with the whole, you know, Floyd Mayweather can't read situation, and um, A B came out and like even on, on Breakfast Club, you know, they were he told their issues and all that type of stuff, but then Adrian Broner came out and he was like, but you, before the record, man, Floyd can't read, like. Stuff like that, like AB still, like he still takes up for Floyd. He still, like he still, he was loyal to Floyd. AB was loyal to Floyd. So I mean, I don't necessarily want to put blame on blame, or um, I don't want to put blame on anybody right now, like or, or at any time, because again, it's always two sides to the story, and we'll truly never know, you know. Um, but Floyd Mayweather seems just like he's just tired of the antics of Adrian Broner. AB, you know. I, 
he's done a lot of recent interviews saying how you know uh him and floyd would do big numbers if they did an exhibition and this that and the third listen i just think it's time for ab to move on from that situation bro move on from floyd mayweather you know and even though he he he'll say that he probably has you can tell that that situation still hurts him and rightfully so bro i mean somebody that you look up to your entire life turns around and just basically you know talks bad that's like if you know i look up to uh, uh, uh andre ward you know what i'm saying i look up to andre ward bro like it's like if i meet andre ward and he just like talks bad about me and all that type of stuff bro i would i would be i would be hurt that would hurt me so i, I i'm not dismissing adrian broner's feelings he has a right to feel like damn bro like i really looked up to you i messed with you i i i, I, I even remember before one of his fights um when Floyd got locked up in 2012, AB had a fight. Might I think it might have been with uh, Antonio DeMarco or DeMarco Antonio. Dude got two first names, so I, I always get it backwards. But he, even with that, I remember he had made the shirt that said "Free Money Mayweather." Like you know what I'm saying? Like he he really looked up to Floyd, bro. And so I can I'm I'm again I'm not I'm not dismissing Adrian Broner's feelings, man. Like that he has a right to be like, damn, bro. Like that's gonna hurt him. It is gonna hurt him. But AB again, he has to move on from that. Like he he has to he he has to he has to like put all that away. Like listen, Floyd doesn't owe you anything, my dude. It's it's a sad situation. But Floyd at the end of the very at the very end of the day, Floyd Mayweather does not owe you anything. So it's like, bro, you you can't sit here and oh man, we make great money together. Floyd is not looking to make great money with you. So you have to learn to move on from that. It's nothing that you can do about that at this point. Like you have to learn to move. You have to learn to move on from that, bro. The man, the man has showed you clearly that he doesn't want to make. Like I remember, and I, I remember even on one interview with AB, like man, Floyd don't even answer my calls and stuff like that, bro. Listen, the man is showing you that he does not want to be or associate with you. You know, even if it's like one of them things, because you know how some people only want to associate with you on their terms, bro. You got to cut that off, AB. Focus on you. Don't. Di from this point on, Floyd Mayweather shouldn't even be coming out of y'all mouth. Y'all had y'all's time, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had great moments together, but it came to an end, bro. You gotta move past it now. Floyd doesn't owe you anything, and you don't owe Floyd your, your loyalties no more. You don't, and, 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 I, and I feel sorry for AB in that aspect, because it's like AB is definitely loyal to Floyd. He looked up to him, but Floyd is not returning that, so you don't owe this man your loyalties anymore. So, focus on you, AB. I look forward to watching you fight again, bro, in February. Like, comment, subscribe. But, what do I know?